Okay, now that I have your attention, the cell body was first prepared by having the uh, angles ground and the edges optically prepared to receive the window. Uh, the cell body was then held upright and the window placed in position and a tungsten pick uh, used to hold it in place while a bushy flame is used to initiate the fuse. Uh, this can be seen uh, by the interference fringes under white light. After a fuse has been affected, uh, more oxygen and gas is added to the flame and a carbon paddle is used to uh, bring the glass up to near the softening point and pressing down on the window the fuse is started uh, which appears as a wetting action on the edge of the tube. The torch is used to keep the glass up to temperature and working the fuse around using the carbon paddle to the place where the fuse uh, was begun. The tube is rotated and the carbon paddle gently presses down on the window to affect the seal and it's chased around to the starting point. After the window is completely sealed, the torch is again has the uh, oxygen and gas increase and the flame is brought around the edge of the window, glowing it up to white to affect a good tight seal. After going around the window edge, the edge of the tubulations are fire polished because a wage lock type fitting will be placed over these tubes. Then the tube is glowed to, to white to burn off the bloom. After that, the flame is used to bring the glass up to a orange color which will affect the flame anneal.